a very special welcome to you. Good afternoon. Welcome to Church on the Air. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova Siaban of Love Mysteries International. It is a great honor and a great privilege to speak to you again this special afternoon. Good afternoon. Church on the Air. Jordan 93.9 FM. We have been on a hope series, bringing you hope, inspiration, encouraging you, helping us all to stand strong and firm in the Lord, refusing to shake and quake amidst so much challenges, so much issues that is raging around us all over the world. We all know that the world is experiencing gross instability. And no matter how you try, one way or the other, you find some issues want to shake you. But we are here to say, don't be shaken. Refuse to be shaken. We are here to say, stay focused. Stay with the Lord your God. Don't give in. Don't give up. Our God is faithful. Able to do for us. Exceedingly, abundantly, above our expectations and our need. In our hope series, we have said to you that the starting point is always to have Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Anytime, any day is not an easy walk, but with Christ Jesus, the walk is made easier. The journey is made easier. Without Christ, it becomes more trying, more challenging. But in Christ Jesus, we are more than overcomers triumphant and so if you are out there you don't know jesus as your personal lord and savior we start by saying please accept him when you accept him we assure you that that dark tunnel that life that seems hopeless and helpless that which makes people now want to commit suicide commit suicide or are into gross depression go to the psychiatric hospital you'll be amazed you see a lot of married women there married men so it's not just uh, youths that take drugs that are in the psychiatric no you find people that are sane okay but because of issues they've allowed emotion uh, emotional instability to set in as a result of too much worry one of the highest drugs now is best-selling drug is that for hypertension I believe if they go and find out, they say, let's find out which drug sells the more, apart from body pain, <laughs> uh, painkillers. The next one will be hypertension, hypertens hypertensive drugs. But as that, they will still tell you, don't stress, so don't worry. And you say a lot of stroke going on. How does stroke come about? They say that if the stroke, the blood pressure goes to the heart, there is an instant death. That is where we find um, heart attack that results into immediate death and if the blood pressure hits the left side of the brain the right side becomes paralyzed and if it is the right side that the blood pressure rushes to in the brain the left side becomes paralyzed so we are saying here that we don't need to go that way when we find our strength in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ it will be okay all will be well and we are also quick to know that yes some have given their life, but they still experience a lot of turmoils, especially where there are delayed answers. Proverbs 13, 12 says that hope deferred make the heart to be sick. Inasmuch as the heart is sick, it does not mean that God is not there. There are times we have delays to prayers. Mark eleven twenty three says that when we pray, God will answer. In fact, there is a popular slogan that says, if there is anybody to pray, there is a God. To answer but sometimes the answer don't come as quick as we want so what do you do we say hold on we say stand hold on don't go looking for other gods don't be running from pillar to post post some people say okay i'm not going to babalaw i'm not going to this but you begin to go from one prophetic house to the other forgetting that now you won't see signboard of babalaw anymore you won't find signboard of anybody saying in those days growing up you see signboards that read indian then 
talisman there's talisman indian talisman this is this they will draw my water they do a lot of things you don't see that kind of signboard anymore you don't see babalawo signboard anymore what has happened <laughs> they've taken our light <laughs> The light is back. Ooh, I hope now you hear the shout. Yay! Nepa. <laughs> but we have light. To God be the glory. And we are saying if you allow Jesus, his light will shine in your life. So we are saying here that you don't see the signboard anymore. And that is why you see a lot of things going on. And we've said to you that when you hear this, this pastor do this one, that pastor do this one, know that it is a fake one. So many are inside the church, but not all of them are of God. There are a lot of fake. So don't use the fake to judge. And don't be running up and down. Because the minute you begin to run up and down, you will run into error. There's a possibility that you fall into wrong hands. And when you fall into wrong hands, you see some people, when they get themselves, they say, I won't go to church again. I won't go to church again. No, 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 no. Church is not good. No, there's nothing wrong with the church. But the only problem there is that you went the wrong place. So we have been saying to you that the word is very, very important. Stay with the word. Stay with the word. Stay with the word. Having done all, stay with the word. Stay with the word. The word will set you free. Last week we came with it saying that you should stand. Stand on the word of God. When you praise, you talking to God. And the word of God is God talking to you. So when you're talking to somebody and you don't have the word, you don't read the word, you don't study the word, how do you know what the person is saying to you? So we say, stay on the word. Stay on the word. And we brought you a special hymn last week, 877, that is on standing. Say, stand on the word of God. Don't stand on anything. Any other one will be quick in sand. Quick sand. Quick sand is the sand that you think is strong, but when you go, you begin to find yourself sinking. That is how life is. But in Christ Jesus, we can have a very strong anchor. This afternoon, permit me to sing for you hymn number 879. 879 says, Will your anchor in the storms of life When the clouds unfold their wings of strife When the strong tide lifts, <laughs> will your cable strain we your anchor, O Lord, strong gray men. We have an anchor that keeps us so steadfast and strong while the billows roll. Fast into the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep. In the Savior's grounded fame and deep, in the Savior's love. Christ is the anchor. <coughs> Excuse me. Pastor Magdalene. Father in heaven.